I found the most viral Minecraft hacks and tricks on the entire internet. Now, I'm testing them to see if they 100% work or are 100% fake. Watch until the end if you hate clickbait. Here are three random facts about Minecraft you probably didn't know. All right, let's eye hear eye contact them. of an Enderman after his aggro, he won't attack you. But Excuse you look me? Too. No, and a that's vocal a dead wish. He will kill you, man. After making a weird noise, but huh. no one really knows oh, why. Oh, we've seen this in one of the previous TikToks. Lastly, we were able to shear the head off of the snowman, and it makes another one underneath. The okay, no, that's real cool. too. So is the Enderman one real? No way. Okay, Mr. Enderman, do you promise not to hurt me? All right. We just got where is he gone? Okay, just look at his eyes! Look at his eyes! Stop killing me! I'm looking at your eyes, man! I'm looking at your eyes! I'm looking at your eyes! Don't kill me, okay? It's okay! He's just standing there! We're safe! No, wait, what? But looking at an Enderman's eyes makes him mad and angry! And you're telling me just look at it and peacefully like this. Oh no! Keep eye contact! Hey, hey! You're supposed to not be attacking me! I'm looking at your eyes! I'm looking at your eyes! I mean, it slows him down. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? But I don't think he stopped attacking me. This is so weird. What? I will help. No, no, what? I, my verdict, it does work. I'm just really, really bad at maintaining eye contact. But if you get really good, this would be a very effective way to stop dying to Enderman. Ooh, a Minecraft secret trick. What do we got? Something to do with armor stands? I'm assuming here. Okay, the back ones have a creeper head and a wither skull head, and the front ones have got armor. What exactly are we doing here? Okay, we've got two pistons. We're pushing those back armor stands forward, the one with the mob heads here, guys. We're doing it again using sticky pistons here for some reason. And then what? Now they're like slightly in between each other, and we're pushing them again? Why though? I don't understand. Yo, that is so cool! You can get an armor stand to wear both a mob head and armor! Normally, the issue with armor stands is I can go ahead, put a creeper head, and the most I can do is give it, you know, diamond armor down here, but I can't put a helmet on it. If I go ahead, grab that helmet, the minute I do that, it switches out that. You can only have one or the other, you can't have a both. But according to this hack, we're able to have both. So we can use any mob at all, we're gonna use creeper and with a skeleton, I'm assuming you can skeleton any kind of head, even a player head here, and then we can put full armor on the front, so we're gonna give our creeper diamond armor here, and then we'll give our with a skeleton gold armor. You know, match an M theme with the nether there, guys. All right, so we've set that up. Now what we need to do is grab ourselves sticky pistons and place these up behind the armor stand, and we need to place a block of redstone in the center, activate that, then break that block of redstone and the pistons. Then we place two more sticky pistons, guys, behind each of those armor stands, activate those again, bang, and now they're like semi in each other, but it's not quite right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place two more pistons here, guys, and then activate those. That'll push all of that forward, and check this out, guys. We actually have a Wither Skull wearing gold armor and the Creeper here wearing diamond armor. That is a really, really dope change the head that is being used. I don't know how well this, how I'll be able to do this when they're joined. Okay, there we go. You can easily just switch the player head, so you can actually look like Steve is wearing diamond armor here, guys, or I can just use a regular skeleton skull and make it look like a normal skeleton instead of a Wither Skeleton. I think that's really great. That'd be an awesome way to decorate your house and definitely would recommend. Here are some amazing Minecraft life hacks that you've probably never seen before. Okay, I'm excited. One. You may think you need two water buckets to create an but infinite you source do. of water. Uh, well, you only need one. If wait, you place how? a block with two kelp and uh -huh. then a block on the original All water right. source, you will have infinite wait, water. Wait, what? If you're ever no creating your own resource pack. So let's recreate the exact situation he did, but in survival mode. So basically, we dig out a hole here that is your usual two by two. All we gotta do is he places one block here and he places two kelp, one in this corner, one in this right corner. But we're gonna need to put the water in first so it flows down, fills that up. We put kelp here, kelp here. Now he doesn't pick up the water source block here with his bucket again because apparently that's not gonna work. We have to place a block there. So let's place our cobblestone there. All right, there we go. And now we just gotta destroy this. I really should have grabbed a pickaxe here, guys. This is, uh, I'm so sorry <laughs> for making you wait. But any moment now, we will see whether this infinite water works. All right, there we go. We destroy that. Now we can destroy the kelp here. All right, bang and bang. It looks infinite. But let's test it here, guys. All right, bang, pick it up. That filled up again. All right, we'll put that water. Yeah, well, that, that kind of ruins it. All right, wait, 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 wait. We need to test this. All right, place the water here. I'm just going to grab a ton of buckets. Let's see. Okay, I've already grabbed two, three, four. It's infinite! Bro, just carry around kelp in a bucket. You don't need two buckets of water anymore. Look what you've done. Look what look what this evil plant has done. But also, it's it's pretty cool. It, I think it's cool. Maybe you're not that so evil after all. <laughs> Some hidden game functions in Minecraft you may not know. All right, hit me. What do we got? Feeding your parent cookies makes them dead. No, it doesn't. 
Cookies will kill you, apparently. Holding magma balls gives you fire resistance. No, it doesn't. You will burn in the lava. Being able to find that. You can't do that either because you can't get water. First off, parrots eating your cookies. Well, if they do that, they will, in fact, die of poison. The way they did this is they just chucked down the cookie like so using the drop item button. And in the background, they would have had a juke box and they would have just hid this like under the ground or something, which makes our little cute parrot dance. So there is that, guys. That's what's going on here. Now with the magma cream, we'll switch into survival. Let me show you. Yep, I am definitely burning alive. I'm going to switch into creative before I die there. What's going on here is we have a repeating, always active command block, which is executing that it tests for when you are holding magma creep. And the minute you are holding magma creep, it gives you fire resistance. And as you can see, I am no longer taking any more damage. And finally, guys, the farming in the nether, that is rubbish because when you shut down water, it evaporates. The way they would have done this is selecting an area and using commands in order to place down water in the nether, which would then allow them to farm. All of this is complete and utter clickbait. And they didn't even try. It took me like five seconds to bust those. Make sure to subscribe because we do not stand for it here. We only show work and hacks. So make sure to subscribe so we can put an end to clickbait. Secret staircase. I'm all this. Over the trap door. Hidden lever. And boom. That literally came out of nowhere. I'm feeling ripped off, Mr. Chicken. They didn't even show us how to do it. How am I supposed to know if it works and I can make a secret staircase? You know? ba -buck. It doesn't understand a word I'm saying, right? What am I doing? I'm losing it. I'm talking to a Minecraft. He doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. We're going to try and make it work our own style. So basically, they would have had a lever here on the ground. Um, we know that much. We saw that in the video. And this was hidden by spruce trap doors disguised as a plant like. So you had to open this to hit the lever. Then we had these spruce stairs appear out of nowhere from the wall. And this is the complex bit. Because for this, you would either have to like move a spruce wood plank or you would need the back of stairs to pop out and then turn this way, which I think is possible. Um, but what we're going to do first is we need to put in our sticky pistons here, guys, going up. And you can make this as high as you want in theory. And then we need to have stair blocks here. Now, the question is, is how are we going to make those not have this gap? Because the problem is right now, guys, if we put wood blocks here, there's going to be gaps. That isn't it. It was totally flush with the wall. Maybe we can... Wait, I have an idea. Stair blocks will move around them. So if we place a stair facing backwards like so... Ha <laughs> ha! That works! Okay, we can get rid of that and turn this into a backward stair here. And if you place a backward stair on top of each of these stair blocks, that looks totally flush. Yes! We are in business. All right, and then we can fill in the rest of the wall here just with regular spruce wood planks, just like so. And then you would have your secret room up here, wherever you need to get to. You can hide your chest up here, whatever floats your boat. Then on the background, the redstone should be pretty straightforward. We have our lever here and the redstone we just need to bring up across our pistons like so. Now, if you're on bedrock edition, like this video was made, you can see it looks like this. You should be able to just put your redstone on the pistons. If you're in Java, you'll actually need to have repeaters going into your pistons. But uh, this should work just fine. Let's go ahead. Open up that trap door. Hit the lever. That is what I am talking about. That is so awesome. Look at that. And then when you hit the lever, it automatically closes the trap door because it outputs a redstone signal. You can turn it off. The problem is, is when you turn it off, it, it releases all of those. But in theory, guys, what you could do is put the lever up here and make it a secret staircase going downwards. Because as you can see, you could connect the redstone just up here. It's really simple, really easy, guys. It's a great way to make a secret base. What's up next on the hack lineup? We've got a crafting table here, chucking in some copper ingots and amethyst on the top. And we got ourselves two spyglasses. How is this a hack? All right, this is part of the new update. You can craft spyglasses and zoom into things. And now he's putting the two spyglasses together. Are those binoculars? What? I am learning new things about the update every single day. I had no idea that you could make binoculars. So we got copper ingots here on the bottom, and that's going to give ourselves spyglasses. So we got two of those. Those work as normal. You can zoom into things just like so. But apparently, we can b combine both of these spyglasses to get ourselves clickbait. Get ourselves clickbait. Let's expose them. The solution to this clickbait? An apple. That's right. An apple a day keeps the clickbait away. <laughs> It's an apple plus a resource pack. This binoculars pack by Storm Dragon is going to retexture our apple into a spyglass. Why is that important? You guys are going to see in just a second. We got a spyglass here. Now, when we go ahead and add this to the crafting table, the issue is, is that's not going to give us our binoculars. We're actually going to have to change the code of Minecraft by adding in a crafting recipe. And we can do that using a data pack. If we open up chat and type in slash data pack enable binoculars, hit enter, jump back into our crafting table and now put those together. Boom, we got ourselves like binoculars, and I'm taking this one level further than the clickbait video. When I hold them out, check it out, actually working binoculars in Minecraft. I think that is absolutely awesome. And honestly, if you want these binoculars in your world, guys, I'd highly recommend downloading this resource pack from Storm Dragon. They are really, 
really cool. Like, I think that is awesome. And these are just basically retextured spy glasses, guys. If I turn on advanced tooltips, you can see this is a retextured spy glass, and this is just a retextured apple. Really, really awesome. And honestly, even though this is clickbait, it helped me found a really cool mod that I would recommend to everyone. A human sponge? What does that even mean? Wait a minute. Is the water just moving away from the player? What is this godly power? How do I become such a god? This is a tutorial, apparently, but we're not exactly being shown how this works. All liquids will be absorbed around you like a sponge. Yeah, I can see that. That is dope. Wait, including lava? That is the fastest way you can travel through the nether. That is awesome. That is OP, guys. How the world... Yo! Is like a literal superhero right now. How do I do this? What a shock! The tutorial didn't actually show us how to do it. Now, because they didn't show us, I had to spend a solid couple of hours figuring this out, guys. So please, well, at least watch until the end of this video to make it up to me, because this was so hard, so that I could show you guys how to be a human sponge. And I even made it work in Minecraft Bedrock Edition and Java. So any version, this should work. Let's go ahead and chuck it down. We have one repeating always active command block here on the bottom with the arrow facing upwards. This has this command here, guys. If you want this in your world, just copy this command. You can screenshot this video. We're going to have that command. Then and above here, we've got a chain. Again, make sure it is facing upwards, this arrow here, guys. And then in here, we have this command. This is always active and a chain. And then we're going to go ahead and you want to crouch as you place this block on top. And we have a few more here, guys, all the way up. It is quite a big command system. But these are the commands. I'll just open them up, guys. You can pause the video if you want to copy these down into your world. I won't waste your time explaining them. But basically, these are just clearing all the blocks around you, including water, kelp, and the rest of it so that it doesn't, you know, destroy the game. Then we're going to put a lever here at the bottom. Activate that. And now, guys, check it out. I can walk into the ocean like an absolute boss. Hey, Drowned, how you going? He's just like, what, what are you doing down here, guys? And I can even go ahead and give myself a night vision. And, and boom, check it out, guys. I can literally just walk around here and the water will bend at my will. If that isn't awesome, I don't know what is the Drowned. Just like, what is, what is happening to my life right now, guys? I think that is absolutely dope. Really, really great. Now, for our next Minecraft tag, that's actually all the time we've got for today. So you're going to have to watch the next video. But I'll see you then. Until then, anyway, stream out. Bye.